Infinity appears to be finding its voice again as a brand ostensibly focused on performance. As evidence, we present, of all things, its newest small crossover, the QX30, which was derived from the Mercedes-Benz GLA class platform, itself a derivative of Benz's CLA sedan. During our first drive of the 2017 Infiniti QX30 last year, we were particularly impressed by the more athletic QX30 Sport. Now that we've gotten a chance to strap our test equipment to one, we have the numbers to support those initial impressions. This represents a bit of redemption for the QX30 after the all-wheel drive model finished fourth out of five in a comparison test of baby Luxo crossovers. While this model uses Mercedes structural and powertrain bits, Infinity deserves some credit for making the $39,495 QX30 Sport model look and drive differently from the more lumbering QX30 AWD. The Sport label encompasses more than just spoilers and fancy wheels, as well it ought to for its hefty $8,550 upcharge over the entry-level model. It gets the same 208 horsepower from the same turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4 as other QX30 models, and GLA 250S, but our front-wheel drive sport weighed nearly 200 pounds less than the all-wheel drive edition that underwhelmed in the Compa-Euro. It also rides 0.8 inch closer to earth than the base front-drive version. That lowers the center of gravity enough to make it feel more like a hot hatchback than a shrunken SUV. Wheels grow from 18 to 19 inches in diameter and are shod with more aggressive Goodyear run flat performance tires versus the AWD model's all-season rubber. As in all QX30s, the transmission is a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. While none of the sport model's cosmetic touches nor its aggressively contoured sport seats make it a better performer, each adds a measure of engagement to the experiences of approaching, entering, and interacting with the car. It's a different animal. For one thing, it's a quicker animal. Compared with the AWD model, the QX30 Sport's acceleration from rest to 60 miles per hour dropped by nearly half a second, from 6.6 .6 to 6.2 seconds, with 100 miles per hour arriving 1.3 seconds sooner, at 16.8 seconds versus 18.1. The 5 to 60 mile per hour rolling start time fell from 7.2 to 7.0 seconds while the 30 to 50 mile per hour and 50 to 70 mile per hour passing times are down by half a second each, to 2.9 and 4.2 seconds. It handles and stops better, too, clinging to the skid pad with an impressive 0.90 grams of lateral grip up from the AWD model's ho-hum 0.83 grams. Braking from 70 miles per hour took 157 feet, six fewer than its more rugged counterpart. Incidentally, the QX30 Sport beat the last Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 we tested nearly as handily in every measure excepting the sprint to 60 miles per hour, which the all-wheel drive Benz performed 0.1 second quicker thanks in part to a launch control function not available on the Infiniti. Another competitor, the 10 best cars winning Volkswagen GTI, is about a half second quicker in most acceleration measures, but the Infiniti nearly matched the GTI's tenacious 0.91 grams on the skid pad and beat the GTI's braking distance by 2 feet. But numbers tell only part of the story, on the road. The QX30 Sport feels frisky and eager. The steering could use more feedback but is quick and direct, with linear responses and weighting that increases in concert with the driver's ambitions. Stability at triple-digit speeds is remarkable for a small hatchback, and at lower velocities, torque steer has been effectively quashed. And the brakes, upgraded with cross-drilled front rotors, are utterly spectacular. All the while, the suspension is firm, if occasionally harsh.
damn phones, Babylon's came.